first classroom documentary <laughs> that isn't part of the bloopers. <laughs> Why, Vince, why do you think uh, my mirror? Well, they're they're small, but they're fast, and like I think they can get to the paint pretty easy. What do you, why do you say currently, Griffin? Because they're good. They're, they're, they're ranked, right. like, I think, fifth in the state. So what are we doing, Andre? What? Setting up for broadcast. Hey, Jordan. Hey, Joe. Hi. Up, so, what do you expect the outcome of the tournament to look like? You know, um, tournaments can be a crapshoot. It can go either way. You know, there's a lot of great teams in this tournament. Everybody's competitive. I think uh, we're just trying to hear, come here, be competitive, and see what happens one game at a time. Thank you, Coach. Back to you guys. Thank you. Thank you, Coach. I appreciate, I appreciate it. it. Thank you, guys. All right, so, Eddie, what was that? It was a, a coach's interview before the Marv Sanders boys basketball tournament. When you first imagined this class four years ago, is all of this what you envisioned it to be? You know, I didn't, I don't know that I had uh, this in mind when, I, when we first started. I just, I just looked to the next opportunity that uh, I could try to create for students uh, in this, this area. And it, uh, this is what it evolved into so far. It's still evolving. And that marks the conclusion of Marv Sanders, doesn't it, Curry? Yeah. Last Marv Sanders. <sighs> 12 games, three days. Oh, was it worth it, Curry? It was worth it for you guys. So you're here all day, Dylan? Yep. All, you, risked, you gave up your Saturday? I did. <laughs> yeah, one will be nine. Check it out. They have a nine. <gasps> that is <laughs> amazing. Got the power. <laughs> it's power. <laughs> This is probably our last basketball broadcast. What do you think about that? <laughs> kind of happy, kind of sad. Basketball season's already over, it went by quick. It did. Yeah. So how long have you been involved in FHS Live? Since my freshman year, so I'm a junior right now, so almost three years. Since my sophomore year, that's three years now. Since my junior year, which was last year. And when you first joined, what did you expect from the class? Just expected it to be another class that I could get an A in, but it's grown into something that I love. To learn about digital media and all that. I was expecting to just mostly do camera stuff and radio. And looking back, did you ever expect it to get this big? Honestly, no. I didn't, and I did at the same time. No, I didn't. Made it. Just us two so far. Anyone to find this? I'm trapped under rickets. I'll probably be dead by the time you're watching this. But that doesn't matter.
I am glad to be here, and I'm glad I could just kind of sit in here with you guys and uh, chat since I'm kind of helping Johnny here today. Yeah. So, what are you helping with him with him with today? Excuse you know, uh, 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 Mr. Mr. Curry has uh, been a really had a, gr a, a vision for this digital media department, and uh, I've actually uh, and he's sitting right here. So, it's all right if it, it's all right if I say that I've actually been a, the consultant. I can take that out. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light? She's crying. She's she's crying because Ooh. we're leaving in less little over a month. Oh. Little over a month. <laughs> okay. It's so sad. You guys are making me cry. I gotta go on air. And looking into the future, what sort of legacy are you wanting to leave behind from this class? Yeah, that's a good question. Uh, I, I want it to be where whenever that is that someone would come in and, and step in and take my place that they look at it and just say wow and then of course be inspired to to do more and to take it to higher places. My sophomore year I had to pick another elective and I was like what's this media communications class so I was like I'll choose it and then I got put into it my first hour and then I saw all these people I was like whoa like I never thought I'd like be like really close to them but they're like my second family almost. I've really grown close to some of the people in here and they're basically like a family sometimes during the broadcast and I'm really grateful for Curry bringing us all together and for doing this. Before I got in this class, I didn't I didn't know a lot of people that were in the class and when I got into it, you know, I, I started interacting with them and I started seeing what type of people they were and how cool and awesome they were to hang out with and do games with and all kinds of funny, cool assignments that Mr. Curry assigns us dreadfully. <laughs> you know, I've coached for 27 years in uh, interscholastic sports. And I don't know that at any time through those years that I've seen a more, I've seen more of a team than I've seen uh, these students become through the year through the years in, in FHS Live. Some of the best teams that I've ever you know coached uh, have been those teams in FHS Live. They they've come together from all walks of life and really, really operate as a uh, as a team uh, and it's it's been really cool best memories having a group of people that i know will always stick by me and having people that i've known for years now that we've grown close i would hope <laughs> football was on we had a great we had great broadcast and the crew was happy and yeah that's about it football broadcast was the best ones because they were on fridays too uh, the best memory is probably the tailgate parties we hosted. It was already always like hyped up and always had my boy Terrell with me, so it's pretty fun. <laughs>